Hi everybody, Michael Coates here in the First Alert Weather Center. Just a quick web update for you. As expected, yeah, it's getting messy out there as that storm system is upon us right now. We're seeing slushy conditions on our area roadways around the Snake River Plain. And as you go just a little bit higher in elevation, uh, it gets pretty rough right now. This is a look at Ryrie. Snow is beginning to cover portions of Highway 26 and it just gets worse from there as you make your way towards Antelope Flats and Swan Valley. Also getting some snow uh, around Malad here. Uh, the, the camera's kind of snowed in right now, but it's a slow go, it's a slushy go over Malad Summit right now. Uh, cars are going just at a slower pace there over the summit. Looks like you're down to one lane in each direction. Plus, we're also seeing some snowy conditions in Island Park right now. It's pretty snowy up there, and it's very snowy up on Teton Pass and Pine Creek Pass here for this afternoon and evening. Here's a look at Viper Radar. We're in the thick of things here for this evening, and this is going to continue off and on here for tonight and dragging into your Saturday morning. We do catch a bit of a break here for Saturday afternoon as another system will push in here for Sunday. In fact, here's a better view of that on the Viper cast. So we have one cold front departing and another one arriving here here for Sunday morning. But for Saturday afternoon, we do catch a little bit of a break here. So we have snow tonight, a little bit tomorrow morning. We're gonna be left with partly cloudy conditions, gusty winds all weekend long here for your Saturday. And again, more snow on the way here for Sunday. We're under uh, winter weather advisories for Saturday. We're at least tonight through Saturday morning for areas of the Snake River Plain. That's with difficult driving conditions expected for tonight and early tomorrow morning. And of course, winter storm warnings for our local mountains. We'll probably see more of these advisories issued for Sunday as well. Here's a look at those wind speeds and you can still see that they're going pretty gusty outside as we go through tomorrow morning. About 7 a.m. we're stuck with those wind gusts into the teens and 20s and these uh, sustained wind speeds are going to stay strong with those stronger wind gusts all throughout your Saturday. It's just going to be cold tomorrow. The sun's going to peak out a little bit here for Saturday afternoon before that snow arrives back in the forecast on Sunday. In fact, you can see that snow here Saturday morning just kind of hanging out mostly into the foothills and mountains by about 7, 8 o'clock. And then as we get into Saturday afternoon, we're left with partly cloudy conditions for the Snake River Plain, snow in our local mountains, and then we'll start to pick up on more snow as we go into late Saturday night through Sunday morning. And we may pick up another one to two inches in the Snake River Plain. In fact, even some spots may get close to three inches in the Snake River Plain. Uh, forecast showing us that temperatures will stay chilly here for tomorrow with highs in the upper 20s, lower 30s. And then we have more snow in the forecast for Sunday. We'll have a few lingering snow showers in there for Monday, but temperatures are picking back up by Monday afternoon to the 40s. Another round of wet weather trying to get in here for Wednesday with some rain snow mixes possible for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We'll have more for you tonight at 5 and 6 on Channel 8, 530 and 9 on Channel 3 and Fox 5. We will see you later.